Welcome into this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn anything into rock only in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to be showing you how to do it in two different ways that will get you two different results. Hopefully one of them fits what you're looking for. Let's get into it. We are here in Photoshop and this is the first image that I'm going to be showing you how to make. And this is the second image that I'm going to be showing you how to make. So let's get into the first one, which is this one. You want to have both your texture image and your subject image imported into Photoshop before you start. On my subject image, I'm going to make the background larger by clicking C on my keyboard and making and just stretching it out. Click enter, V, and move your subject to this middle. Drag your texture image on top of the, your subject image and make it smaller make sure it's right on top of the shark or your subject next make sure if you're selected your texture image go to layer duplicate layer and name it shark make sure you're on new and the name just name it displacement click ok and as you can see, so this is our original composition. And so it just duplicated the layer into a different document, right? So click the X to close it. And yes, you want to save it. So save it into your desktop. Click OK. And now make sure you're still on the rock layer. Go to filter to distort and make sure you click on displace. Click OK and select the displacement, the file that you just exported. Now, as you can see, something changed, right? So to actually get a better look at it, click Alt and clip it to the, your subject image. And as you can see, so what this practically did was like wrap the texture around the shark. So now you want to change the blending mode by going to the little drop down menu and going to multiply. And as you can see, there's actually color in this image, right? So we want to take that out. So our image right here has color. You can take it out by clicking Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U if you're on Mac, and that just desaturates it. So make your texture layer visible again, and and that's pretty much it. But now we're just gonna make it look a lot better, right? So we're going to add an adjustment layer, curves, and make it a lot brighter. We're also gonna add some shadows. Add a new layer, click B for the brush and just paint some shadows in. Make sure you have a dark color. So just continue painting some shadows. And once you're finished your shadows, drop the opacity all the way down to maybe around 33 that looks good make another layer and now we're going to add highlights so later on we're going to have a light source coming from over here okay so we want to draw the highlights somewhere right here so click so make sure you're on a white brush and just draw some highlights and make sure so your highlights are visible they're at the very top let's paint some highlights And also drop the opacity way, way down. Now we want to add a background. So go to solid color and make it black. Make sure it's under your subject. And there it is. Now we're going to add a light source. So make a new layer. Click B on your keyboard. Make this bigger. And just do one stroke. Ctrl T to move that. Make this a lot bigger and zoom out so you can really really see what you're doing so click ctrl or command and just stretch stretch your life source out and there you go that's how you do it this is how you create the first image i showed you now i'm going to show you how to create this image right here 
Okay, I'm gonna go through this a little bit faster since I already went pretty detailed on the first one. So, make the background bigger. Move it to the middle. Bring our texture in. Make it smaller and put it right on top of our shark. And go to layer. Duplicate layer. New name displacement. Okay. So now we just close it. And yes, we want to save it. That's the one that we just did, but we'll call this displacement two. Save. Okay. Now we're back to our normal one. Make sure you're on your texture layer. Go to filter. Distort and displace. Click OK and choose the document that you just exported. Clip it to our shark. And now this is what, what's going to happen, right? So we change this to multiply like we did in the last one. And in the last one, we turned it black and white to get rid of the whole colors, right? But in this one, we're going to duplicate the layer, make this one black and white. Now we got one that's black and one, one that's not, but we only want to get rid of the colors in the mouth. So we're going to put a mask on top of that. Click control I to make it dark and with a brush paint over the mouth to get rid of the mouth colors, but we want to keep everything else right, right? So that's pretty much what we did. We just got rid of that and everything else kind of stays the same. Now we clip that to our other layer, bring that back. And we're going to make an adjustment layer curves. We're going to make this really, really, really light. Really light. So I think that's good right there. That's pretty much it. But now we're just going to make shadows to make it look, to make it pop a lot more. So just add some shadows. And you see, you're going to see this really, really makes a huge, huge difference. If you want to erase some parts away, make sure you have a white brush. And now lower the opacity of this to about 45. That's probably good. Yeah, that just makes it pop a lot more. Now we're going to do the same thing for highlights. So add some highlights. Oh, but remember, your layer has to be at the very top. Make this bring the opacity a lot lower and just like we did in the last one we're gonna add the solid color background put that at the very bottom and we can add the light source again so make with a white brush make a circle in the middle Control T move it to the side Control on your keyboard to stretch it out And yeah, that's pretty much it. So as you can see, this has like a different feel to it. It's more less contrasty and more just looks like it's completely rock like a statue or something. So yeah, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment and subscribe. I post two new videos every week. Hope you have an amazing day and see you in the next one.